and welcome to the May 17th, 2013 CarNewsCafe.com podcast quick sip. Today we're going to talk about uh, three beautiful cars that are going up for auction at the Silverstone Auctions in the UK. The first and the foremost of those is a 1933 Lancia Astura. This is a beautiful, beautiful car. Also is a 1927 Studebaker Commander Big Six and a beloved 1935 Austin Ruby 7. These three cars will all star in the Silverstone Auctions trophy sale today. For classic car aficionados and pre-war car collectors, few vehicles compare to the 1933 Lancia Astura. It's one of the most exclusive estate coupes of its time. Of course, this doesn't mean you can shake a stick at the rugged 1927 Studebaker Commander Big Six and its Prohibition-era antics, or the Everyman's 1935 Aston Ruby 7, which was one of the most popular cars of that time. All three of these historic machines, lovingly restored, will be coming up for auction to lucky bidders at the annual Silverstone Auctions trophy sale in Britain. The Astura is expected to bring well over 100,000 pounds, while the Studebaker will likely bring a more modest 15,000 pounds. The Ruby 7 is anyone's guess, as it will go to the block with no reserve and could become some lucky bidder's big find. The star of the bidding is definitely going to be the 1933 Astura, which has been 30 years in the restoring, with 1933 being considered by many to be the pinnacle year for the Lancia model in the second series with this classic format. Only 750 of these were actually made, built between 1932 and 1933, while the entire model line saw only eight years of production, starting in 1931. The Astura replaced the impressive Lambda, which had been outgrown by more modern technology and tastes. The Astura was the more powerful V8 model of the Lancia lineup, with the Artina making up the lighter four-cylinder option. The Astura saw four series of evolution during its eight years of production, with the first series being somewhat problematic rattle boxes. These were replaced by a second series just a year later with the smoother engine mounting reducing noise and vibration considerably. With its large 2.6-liter eight-cylinder engine producing 72 horsepower under a single carburetor and driving through a relatively advanced four-speed manual gearbox, the Lancia Astura in the second series was a beautiful goer that attracted about 750 buyers in its single year of production. It appealed to some of the rising upper crust of the period with its smooth riding independent suspension using a sliding pillar configuration that was a significant improvement over springs alone, and Lancia was a pioneer in independent suspensions, leading the way for others who would not catch on until well after the war. In fact, this suspension was the mainstay for Lancia vehicles until they're purchased by Fiat in 1969. Lancia continues to produce vehicles under Fiat's ownership, most of which now are just rebadged Chrysler products. We look forward to seeing what the Lancia sells for, as well as this beautiful 1927 Studebaker Commander Big Six that's such an American classic. And the 1935 Aston Ruby 7 has got to be one of the most beautiful cars of that year. Thank you for listening to the carnewscafe.com podcast. Visit carnewscafe.com for more.